it's not supposed to happen. Hold up, let's go back to nine months ago when I finally got up the balls to fly out to China and start training Kung Fu. Leaving home was hard, but I had a dream to do flying kicks, splits, and breaking bricks. Welcome home. Make yourself comfortable. You'll find everything you need here to train your mind and body. I thought I was in pretty good shape when I first came here, but my first three months proved me wrong. Winter training, the hardest thing I've done in my life. Up at 6 a.m. in the freezing cold, train for eight hours a day. I need more sleep. Let's get to it. Yeah, I'm starting it. Training here is no joke. Our bodies are always sore. Hold them, hold them. No matter what, we get up and we train. We're extremely lucky to have Shifu Wong training us. Not only is he a total badass, but he also enjoys learning other cultures and speaks English quite well. Learning my first form was challenging, but as your body adapts and you learn the basics, you pick up forms much faster. And seeing as how this is a small school, Shifu gives plenty of attention to each student. Let's get to the actual Kung Fu. I mean, that's what you're here for, right? Although it takes a lot of time to train each form, the results are worth it. Strength of body and discipline of mind. We all start off by learning a fist form, then move on to learning the staff the trademark weapon of a Shaolin warrior. And if you're here long enough, Shifu will teach you a weapon form that's unique to your own body characteristics. When I first came here, I couldn't punch my way out of a paper bag. Sure enough, hard training paid off. talk food. A lot of plates, pains, and pleasures have been shared around this table. The food is decent, but I miss mom's cooking. Mm. Power stretching. Probably the scariest and most painful part of training. Careful Chifu, careful! Rolls, bringing back special memories. Yes! <laughs> 